If you make a Pajagi patchwork window hanging, how do you finish the edges? Well, I just finished mine with a simple hem and today I'm gonna to show you how. Welcome to Eva De Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, Pajagi and embroidery. So if you've seen my Pujagi patchwork window hangings, and these are the window hangings that look like stained glass when they're hanging in a window, you might have wondered how the edges are finished. Well, there are a couple of different options, but today I'm gonna to share the easiest way and explain why that's the method that I use. So this is a little friendship star window hanging, and this is a free tutorial that I have. So if you wanna make your own, then you can look in the description and find the link to the full tutorial and um, see how this is made. And, and this is a great project if you just wanna try out the technique, you're not really sure, because it'll give you a little taste and give you a fun little thing that you can hang in the window. Now, some people actually finish their pieces with binding, just the way you would finish a quilt or placemat, something like that. And that is certainly a fine option. There's nothing wrong with using binding. However, I personally don't use binding just because it seems like unnecessary work to me. When it's hanging in a window, the binding, even if it's a contrasting color, it won't really be noticeable because the stained glass effect from this project comes from the light shining through the fabric. The seams have a lot of layers of fabric, so the light doesn't shine through the seams. And so the binding or the edge is also going to have that effect. So when the light shines through that binding, the seams, that will just look black because the light's not shining through it. So if you were doing a project that wasn't gonna be a window hanging, like a placement table runner, that kind of thing, then binding would give it a nice look. You could do it in a contrasting color. But for a window hanging, it's not really necessary. Another thing that some people like to do with a window hanging is put either a little hanging sleeve or little loops to hang it on a drapery rod. Now, Again, there's nothing wrong with that. However, I don't do that just because I like to have the freedom to hang it in different orientations. So if it had loops or hanging sleeve up here, I would always have to have this be the top of the piece. However, with a simple hem, I can hang it in whichever orientation I want. I can turn it if I want to hang it in a different orientation. So when I hang them in a window, I use these little clip so it's a ring with a little clip on the bottom kind of like a clothespin and I just clip it onto there so then I don't have to worry about um, a sleeve or loops or anything. So here's how I do the simple hem. So the first thing I would do when this is finished is just make sure that each side is straight. So this one is pretty straight but there's a little jagged piece here. I might want to straighten that off. And I would just use a long ruler and a rotary cutter and make sure that they're straight. And this is also a good opportunity to square it up so that it is square. So when you're joining your pieces, if you have one piece is significantly longer, don't worry about that. You'd square it up at this point. Then once the edges are squared, I would just use one side at a time and I would fold that over and I just eyeball it by about a quarter of an inch and then I would press that. And I do use an iron to press at this stage. And then once I've pressed that, then I would fold it over again and press that well. And then once it's pressed, then I'll just top stitch right along the edge of that pressed line. And I do one side at a time. So I would press and stitch this side, then I would move to the next side. And on the corner, I usually just fold it over. So I know that is an awful lot of layers in that corner. My sewing machine can stitch through that without any problems. But if you wanted to reduce a little bit of the bulk, you could cut off that corner in a diagonal and fold that in so it's not quite as much bulk. And then when you fold it in, 
it is really reduced in that corner. So you would have to see if you need to do that for your sewing machine or not. I tend not to because I'm generally a lazy sewer, but if you had to, um, that would be a way to reduce bulk in the corner. So I just sew one side at a time, stitch, stitch, stitch. I don't attempt to fold it all in and then stitch in one continuous loop. So that is the easy way I finish these with a hem. If you want to see more information about these window hangings and how they're made, you can see all the information, including tutorials and patterns at my website, evadastudio.com.